It's week 10 of the NFL, and we'll see DeAndre Swift. He'll be a focal point of his offense this week. It's the Bears and the Pats, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. Soldier Field opened back in 1924 with the Bears becoming tenants in 71, and what a home field advantage it has become here in Chicago. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So the Bears ready to go on offense, and it's the number one overall pick leading him out. The Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And last week, that was one of those games that he just wants to erase from his memory banks. But I'll guarantee his coaching staff won't let him do it. They're going to make him learn from it. He really looked like a rookie quarterback in that one. He's going to have those kind of outings in year one. But the big question, what does he take away from them? And how does he improve? It starts right here in this game. Off the bootleg, it's Williams. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Second down and three. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And Charles, we see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back on the field in a hurry. Brandon, I'm going to go ahead and age myself, but I'm going to ask you, when you were in high school and there were injuries, did you hear next man up from your coaches? Well, you hear it every week now in the NFL, that's for sure. You know, back when I played when dinosaurs roamed the earth, you didn't hear next man up. You heard, oh, no, we've got to put in Davis. <laughs> So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Nice his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Here's the first carry for Khalil Herbert. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. Now a third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places. And, and he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. And it's going to lead him to fourth down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Here comes the Bears punter now. Back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and the Patriots take over. So here come the Patriots to take over for the first time, led out by the rookie, the third overall pick back in April out of UNC, and that's Drake May. And it's been a long time, but this franchise entered the offseason desperately needing a young quarterback to build around and plan for the future, and they found their guy in Drake May out of North Carolina. Big arm. Great mobility, terrific character. He's everything you're looking for in a quarterback. It may bring him along slowly, but I believe in time, he will be their QB1 and be there for a long time. To the air, May. In 
trouble, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Looking to throw, May. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? <laughs> because ultimately to me, four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've looked terrific. Other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's more. And he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This is Swift on the counter. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Once again, it's Swift. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 31. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Well, the Bears at 500 now, 4-4 four and four on the year. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. The end result, 21 yards. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Swift again. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. DeAndre Swift with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bears will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7-0 in favor of the Bears. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Patriots offense, led by their running back, headed out for the second possession. We show you the NFL leaders and rushing touchdowns. And you can see where he's right up there amongst the league's best at finding the end zone. From the gun, it's May. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Here's May. That's complete. Demario Douglas with it. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 
22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. To throw, it's May. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Throwing here is May. Throw out wide is incomplete. You look at this Bears defense. And they're a tough unit to throw against. Currently four toughest in the NFL. And when you see a ranking like number four in the league against the pass, that's a testament to both their defensive coordinator and the general manager that crafted this unit. And now they're out executing. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. So here are the Bears to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Play action. Now Williams. To the right side, and he's got more to play. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A lot of great quarterbacks from USC. Here's another one. The rookie's got a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Williams. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. From the shotgun, a throw for Williams. And this is going to be incomplete. And that's twice now already in this first quarter that he's been able to knock a ball away. They're going to need that from him and plenty more if they want to slow down this passing game. Thus far, though, he's been a ball magnet. From the gun, here's Williams. Steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. And we both know there's a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard, maybe a touch less. To the air, Williams. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Keenan Allen. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bears are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. New England's offense set to go. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. From the shotgun, it's May. 
Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 38 now, here's second down in the yard. They'll throw with May. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and it's third and short. You look at this Bears defense. They've been very good against the pass so far this year. Number four in the NFL right now. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typically what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's Bryce Behringer on now to punt. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Jones on the return. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Onto the field now come the Bears. And they are back down to the 500 mark after two straight losses. And, Charles, this is a team that, to be frank, is their play has really dropped off the last couple of weeks. And, Brandon, I think there's a sense around the building that they can't let this losing streak get any worse than it is. Because if they were to lose here and fall below 500, then you're playing catch-up the rest of the way. They've got to take a stand and make it stop right now. This second and four. Throwing is Williams. His throw incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Looking to throw is Williams. They'll try and set up the screen to swim. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Well, the Patriots gearing up to go now. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled, haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. Now a second and ten. As they've got it as we resume action. Running left to Stevenson. Oh, he shifts past him. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. A 40-yard punt, no return. The Chicago offense set to get started. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm -hmm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. He's got a man, that's Keenan Allen. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 
On play action, here's Williams. A pass complete to Adunze. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 36-yard line. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and one. Off the play fake, it's Williams. And he fires one, but incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Sushin goes over here on the punt. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Back to throw here. And that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Here's Jones. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damn fell game. And well, now he's looking just to add to his totals. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. From the 46, here's second and two. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Third down and one. A gain of a yard brings up third and one. They'll fake the give. Now Williams. He's going to look deep for more. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now working free down the field. That's Polk. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. That's evidence of why you spend a high draft pick on a receiver, isn't it, Charles? It certainly is. His ability to make plays like that, and we've seen flashes of it from him so far in his rookie season. But also, it opens things up for the rest of the offense because they have to bring their attention to him as well. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll be 
taken down just shy of midfield. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. From the shotgun, May with it. And that's incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here's Jones on the return. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. But now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. To throw, it's Williams. And this one's incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Williams from the gun on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 43, here's second down and two. They'll go play action here with Williams. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. From the gun, here's Swift. A pretty decent gain on the tough run before he's brought down at the 25. 50 yards rushing for him now to this point. Here's second and three. Working out of the gun, Williams. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. To throw, Williams. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I think you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. Tyron Santos on for the field goal. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps, and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. And able to get this out to the 25. And now out come the Patriots. 
And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're we down. Don't want to. No, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. Yeah. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They have not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To the air, May. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They go play action now. May. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Here's May. Open man is born. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 30. To throw, it's May. And that is incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. We're going to throw May. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Throwing here is May. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Sly able to put this one through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. Well, the good news, at least they won't take that goose egg into the locker room. Maybe a little something to build on. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now, as you mentioned, they put some points on the board. And it's been funny in our experience watching games. Sometimes something as little as a field goal can change the fortunes of the team, and they could come out and look real sharp in the second half. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They'll get this into the hands of Adunze. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. To the air, Williams. To the sideline and incomplete. Timing is crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. To throw once more, here's Williams. And he'll 
just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Ah, oh, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you two in a bit. For now, plenty of early game action around the NFL to get you caught up on, so let's get to it. We'll start up at TIAA Bank Stadium in Jacksonville, and those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. From there, we head down south to Tampa to check on the Bucks at home at Raymond James Stadium, and they've got the lead in that ball game over the visiting 49ers. Baker Mayfield with three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Anthony Richardson with a touchdown pass. In the first half, it was the rookie from USC, Caleb Williams, who was looking the part. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Patriots offense and Ramondre Stevenson getting set for this next drive. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. That one caught by Pope. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game. Move first and 10. Gibson here running out of the gun. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive end, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. He certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. And yeah, this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot him. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. From the shotgun, a throw for Williams. And he slings one that's incomplete. 
And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On the handoff, this is Swift. Stop shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and five. Throwing is Williams. And he's got the hook up to Moore. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. On play action, here's Williams. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw is Williams. A little short pass. This is Everett, and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's Williams. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Back to throw. Williams over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. Here's Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. And right now, Charles, this is about building that lead little by little, and they're able to do just that. And it gets them past the key number of 16, so this is now a three-score lead. Not time to exhale just yet, but that might prove to be an important three points before things are said and done. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand 
They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll throw with May. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. On the return is Jones. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Bears take over. The Chicago offense set to get started. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points yeah, on the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. Off the bootleg, it's Williams. A quick throw, but incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and 10. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. To throw, it's Williams. Over the middle, complete. It's Allen. And they will advance this across midfield, but still well shy of a first as he's tackled at the 47. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. New England's offense set to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They'll drop the throw. Short pass caught by Henry. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. Jones on the return. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Bears offense ready to get going again. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Here comes third and about a foot. From the gun, here's Williams. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. 
And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And that one will skip out of bounds as the linesman will mark this thing right at the 15-yard line. Well, the Patriot offense back out getting set to go. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Now a second and six. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Second and six. Throw right side taken in by Gibson. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And this offense on third down today, they've been stymied left and right, converted only one time. They're up against a third and one situation. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. At first glance, I wasn't sure he got it. Then I saw that spot. Definitely a first down. It was, but boy, on the other side, you disputed a little bit, wouldn't you? Okay, if you're playing defense, are you sure he got there? But that's why they tell you all the time, don't just get what you need. Get a little bit more and take the decision out of the hands of the officials. Oh, there he needed a yard. He got a yard and maybe an inch. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. They'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteed he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, it with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It, it really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. 79 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now second and three. Working out of the gun, Williams. He'll look middle here and get it to a Dunze. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. A gain of four yards. That's good. Four of Bears. First down. They'll run here with Swift. Nifty move. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Swift is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. 
And they'll run again, but he will lose yardage here. Back to the four-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball third time, but then it's going to be difficult for him to win that battle. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down, and he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Roma Dunze there to make the grab. And the Bears look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. Well, trailing here in the fourth quarter and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over. Mistakes like that, not going to help you at this stage of the game. And yeah, that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. New England trying to get a place on offense. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. Javon Dexter able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. Oh, uh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it brings up third and five now. To the air, May. And that's caught inside the 35. And finally, he's taken down at the 18. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They're going to look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here's May. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now this complete to Polk. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with May. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Bears will get the football back. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So there's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it because we don't know if we're going to get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. 
Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Third and three. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return, and the Patriots take over. The visitors' offense and Drake May headed back onto the field, and he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes, and he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. Douglas with a grab over the middle. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away, and it's second down. Throwing here is May. He's got Hooper on the short connection, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. They'll come up now, third and three. We're going to throw May. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they've been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Well, the D brought the house. They called the blitz and they get to the quarterback overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play? Or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want. They go right to the blitz. And in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback. No chance on that fourth down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Running is swift. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Williams from the gun on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Now it's Swift. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. An even 100-yard rushing for him now to this point. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Once again, it's Swift. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They'll go play action here with Williams. 
Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking up play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels. You could see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They can have shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Chicago, the win gets them back over 500 at 5-4 five and four on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Packers will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, add another loss to the pile as they drop to 2-8 and eight now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.